everybody, this is Kimberly from Lakeside Loops and today I'm going to show you how I made the Esma Crochet Cardigan. Um, this pattern can be found on my blog, lakesideloops.com. You can find the full instructions there, the chart or graph um, that shows the design of the pattern, the stitch counts, um, the yardage, the yarn that you need, the sizing, everything is on the blog. This video will just go over any of the parts that you may have questions about. So you really will need to go to the blog to get the full instructions and they're free. Um, everything's free on the blog, it's all there for you. This is just gonna go over any trickier bits. This pattern um, is like filet crochet, so it's like where you have a stitch, usually a half double crochet or double crochet, and then a chain of one to create a gap in order to make a design. But for this, I used a different kind of stitch, and I made up my own name for it because I've Googled and searched and I can't find if there's a proper name, if this is a stitch that's been used before, I'm sure it has. But if, so if you know a different name for this stitch, please write it in the comments because I would love to know what it's supposed to be called, but I'm calling it the crochet knot or CK. And I sort of experimented with different um, crochet techniques, trying to get something that looked similar to a knot because I wanted this to sort of look almost macrame. And I wanted something that looked the, almost the same on both sides. So it looks really similar on front and back. You have sort of the same look on both sides. All right, so I'm gonna dive into row one. And again, all the information that you need is free on the blog, lakesideloops.com. Um, really with this, you really need to look at the blog because the chart is so helpful in um, knowing where to put your stitches and I've also taken the time to write out where each stitch goes if you prefer to use that method when doing a design like this. So to start off I'm just doing a very small beginning chain I'm just going to do a little sample size for you guys to make this video go as quickly as possible so you're not all here for hours on end. So um, to start off I'm a beginning chain um, and then I'm going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook so I've yarned over and one two, three, this chain right here. And every row in this pattern starts off with a double crochet and ends with a double crochet. So I've double crocheted and now I'm going to CK or crochet knot in next stitch. So to do a crochet knot, you yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two, yarn over again, and insert your hook into that same chain or stitch. Yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all four. That seems like a lot, but once you get the hang of it, it'll be second nature. Then you're gonna chain one and skip one. So I'm gonna skip this chain, and I'm gonna crochet knot in the next chain. So I've yarned over, insert my hook, grab my yarn and pull it through. It's almost like we're going to go do a, a double crochet, but then when I yarn over this time, I'm going to go back into my stitch, draw my yarn through, yarn over and pull through all four loops on my hook. And you can see the stitch is kind of bulky and on the back it has a similar shape and feel to it. Now I'm gonna continue doing the gaps of chains and these crochet knots until I get to the end of my chain and I wanna have one stitch left. That's where my double crochet is gonna go. All right, so I'm at the end of my first row and I just need to put a double crochet in my last chain. And you should have something that looks like this. Now for row two, I'm gonna chain two and I'm gonna turn. And again, we always double crochet in the first stitch. Now I'm gonna chain one, skip the next stitch, skip, skip the next stitch and crochet knot in the following stitch. So I've chained one, I'm gonna skip this stitch and I'm gonna put a crochet knot in this stitch. Okay. 
And we're just going to continue to follow the pattern all the way down. And then again, our last stitch is always a double crochet. And again, everything that you need is on the blog. The full chart, everything's written out in detail. It's all free. Um, so if you head there, you can find the, the graphs, everything you need to know in order to complete this pattern. All right, when you get to row 24 slash 34 and 25 slash 35, that's when things start to get a little bit different in that you're going to be um, continuing to do the design on the graph for half of your row and then for the other half you're going to switch into alternating between the crochet knot and making a space with a chain one and skip one. So as you can see these two rows right here are just the crochet knot and then the gap and this will be on one side sort of our neck's going to go right here our head will go here and this will come down over one side of our front and this will come down over the other side of our front and we're going to once we get into row 26 slash 36 we're going to create a chain and that's going to create this gap all right you guys i'm going to try to hold the camera as still as i can i have it in my hand instead of on the tripod i wanted to show you what your finished um, cardigan looks like laid flat so <laughs> again this is terrible I apologize not very professional but it's down on my floor and as you can see it's basically a huge rectangle with a slit going down halfway down the middle of the cardigan all right so what we need to do now is take this end oh the sun's coming out take this end and we're gonna fold it down and then we're gonna seam up the sides not all the way up, just part of the way to create our sides and then leave a gap for our arms. All right, so I hope that I've covered everything that you might have questions about, but if you're still unsure about something that's on the blog, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to hear from you, and I cannot wait to see your cardigans online, so please don't forget to tag me at Lakeside Loops on social media. Thank you so much, guys. Happy crocheting!